really good. Um, all his pitches, again, you know, it, you know, use the fastball, the breaking ball, the changeup all effectively. I mean, that's a really good lineup he went through. Um, you know, definitely think he hit the wall there at the end. I was going to take him out. <clears throat> Actually, after the Castro strikeout, um, there were two outs. Just hoping he could get through Buxton, um, you know, but I, I think he showed in that. He was clearly, even the couple hitters leading up to that, it felt like he was hitting the wall a little bit, but really good effort. And then, you know, for the guys to come in and, and protect it was huge. He's a guy that you weren't necessarily counting on this season to be a big part of your starting rotation, and he's been a huge part of a lot of the wins. Do you ever wonder where this team would be without him and the way he's been pitching? Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I, I think we did think he'd be a huge part of it. Um, you know, in what exact role, you know, I think there was, we certainly envisioned him at the very least making starts, but being a very valuable member in some way, shape, or form of our club. And as I've talked a lot about, you know, feel like his winner, his, when he came into spring training, um, it was visible the strides that he had made um, going back to last year and now where he's at now. So um, <clears throat> he's been huge. He, he really has. He's been, uh, you know, to this point, you know, he's been one of the better pitchers, I think, in the game. With Canely, he's retired 28 of the last 30 batters that he's faced. He looks like a different pitcher on the mound. What do you see as the biggest difference this year from a year ago? Yeah, I mean, uh, he he just looks really online, um, you know. The couple times I feel like, or where he gets a little out of whack for a couple pitches, I think he's done a really good job of self-correcting and locking it right back in and getting back online. And the stuff's been there pretty much every outing. And, and the feel of the secondary pitches, the change-ups, obviously a huge pitch for him. The ability to throw that at any time, uh, as well as doing a really good job of elevating his fastball. Um, He's been a real weapon for us, especially against left-handed hitters with that changeup. So, um, and the other thing, you know, when he's had to make a pitch, you know, in 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two counts, he's not predictable, and he's been able to to make a big pitch with, with either the fastball, the changeup, even the slider at times, but that fastball changeup especially, uh, he's been really good. Dan. Did you uh, go to Chapman there in the eighth with the thought that you might not have a ninth inning? Not, uh, we went there with, with the thought that it might be a four-out save. But certainly, you know, the weather wasn't looking real good. So, um, you know, we we're pro maybe a little more aggressive, but we were prepared to be a four-out save situation if if that was the case. And out of Eno, was it, what, what was going on with him? Just was it, was the weather impacting his command, do you think? I, I think it probably did a little bit. I think it impacted Chappie, even though he came in and got it. It obviously impacted their guy. So I think it was getting to a point where, you know, whether the mound, whether ball just being moist, I think it was probably impacting guys to varying degrees. Um, but, you know, I mean, just hit by pitch, they got away, and I'm sure it weather had at least something to do with it. You mentioned the big strides Herman's made. What are those strides? I, I think it's, you know, he's done such a good job of being able to strike all his pitches and no matter the count, confidence in all three of them and he's used them all effectively it seems like just about every outing um so you know he could get behind in the count whether he's ahead in the count and he has the ability and and i think he's done a really good job of of kind of not trying to do too much for the most part just trusting that he can get back into account with any pitch um and he can put you away with any pitch frankly so he's pitching with a lot of confidence and under control which has been really nice to see Eric and Anthony. Aaron Trenton was rained out today. Does that impact what you guys are going to do with, with Frazier? Uh, no, Frazier will be here tomorrow. Dan. Uh, Cashman said on the on the radio that uh, Dellen might start a throwing pro uh, start a throwing program tomorrow, and then he might have been checked out today. Do you know if those things are? Uh, yeah, I don't case? have that for you. Uh, I think that's. My understanding, I, I I didn't get any update on Dellen over the last several hours, but my understanding was tomorrow or one of these next couple of days that that's going to start to happen. Anyone else? 
right here in the middle. Aaron, you obviously got a big hit from Talkman there to get some breathing room. I guess how big for him, and is he though the logical guy to be swapped for Frazier? No, no, he won't be swapped for Frazier. Um, it was really big. Um, you know, he's he's done a you know a, a good job for us. Certainly defensively, he's he's been really good in the outfield. He's gotten some big hits for us. Um, he does a good job of controlling the zone, and today to get on a fastball like he did and and give us a little bit of a cushion there was huge. Um, you know, been battling a little bit this last week at the plate, but um, <clears throat> that was a big at-bat that I know he's worked really hard kind of behind the scenes and put himself in a position there to take advantage of, of a good pitch to hit, and he did. Thank you, Aaron. Yep.